Hello! Welcome to the Mocha Empress Oracle and Tarot channel. My name is Renee and I'm getting ready to do a reading for the beautiful star sign of Leo for November 2020. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to use the following decks. I'm going to use the Moonology Oracle deck. Then I'm going to use Angel Tarot cards. And then I'm going to use Territorial to clarify. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? Okay, I've already pre shuffled each of the decks before uh, the video started. So, Leo, start Sun Moon Rising for November 2020. Leo, Sun Moon Rising for November 2020. Okay. Oops, got two of them. Okay. The first one that came out was uh, Supermoon. It says, emotions are running high. And the waning moon, what do you need to release? Okay, and I'll read something real quick out of the guidebook. Okay, let's see. Superman. Where is that one at? Okay, here we are. Okay, and I'll hold it up as I read it. Okay, so this card suggests that the answer to whatever you're asking is written large like the silvery full moon set against the velvety night sky. If you're wondering how successful something is going to be, such as a job or relationship, the answer is very. To use common parlance, the answer to your question may well be that it's under your nose. This card is about being larger than life being special and bursting with energy that you can tune into work tune into and work with. You can expect plenty of good things and positive outcomes when this card comes up. But you may find there's a lot of emotion to deal with too. There's also a sense that the opportunities around whatever you're asking about doesn't come along every day. So take action. Okay, that's that card right there. And the other card was the waning moon. What do you need to release? The waning moon points to what's falling away. Life goes in cycles and sometimes we need downtime or to let go. No matter when the moon cycle, you pull this card. It's a sign that a situation has peaked for better or worse. And it's time for you to go easier. It's the autumn and winter of the cycle. So do what you need to what so what do you need to release? Almost certainly something from the situation you're asking about. This card can be very positive, but it can still be gently suggesting that you let something go and stop trying so hard. Okay. Alrighty, so there's your moonology cards for November for Leo. I'm gonna set these aside in case we have to refer back to them. I'll set them right over here. Okay, so now we're going to pull some tarot cards. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising for November 2020. I'm going to pull three cards, one representing past energy, one representing present energy, and the other representing future energy. And then we're going to pull one from the bottom of the deck for overall energy. Okay. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, November. What message do you want me to deliver to Leo? Sun and rising for November 2020. 
show me what it is you want me to see for Leo. Sun Moon Rising. For November 2020. Okay. Show me what you want me to see for Leo. Okay, so for past energy for Leo, we have the Hermit. For present energy, we have Ace of Earth, which is the same as Ace of Pentacles. For future energy, we have Page of Air, which is the same as Page of Swords. And for overall energy, we have the Ten of Fire, which is the Ten of Wands. Okay. Past energy is saying that you may have spent some time by yourself away from away from friends and family, loved ones. You needed some time to meditate. Um, perhaps the situation led you to this decision. Um, since you've been spending time with yourself, you've been getting to have some self-discovery, getting to know yourself better, and also it has allowed you to Brush up on your spirituality, not brush up on it, but to make yourself more knowledgeable, to read um, about different religions, different spiritual practices. Um, it's changing how you look at things, how your viewpoint on spirituality. Um, you may have began, may have begun teaching spirituality, some kind of spiritual teachings, um, may have been reading books, watching videos, um, going to workshops or tuning in to workshops because of the pandemic we can't go anywhere really. So you've maybe been, you have been tuning in to different video workshop conferences, um, that type of thing. But saying that this is past energy, so something led you to shut down and go into hermit mode to rethink some things, you know. Okay, current energy is Ace of Earth. It's Ace of Pentacles. Um, it's saying there's an inflow of abundance, a promising business venture. Uh, it also could mean important documents and contracts. Um, maybe you're getting ready to start a business or you have started a business. Maybe as a result of being in hermit mode, the past energy has led you to come to the conclusion that, you know, I think I'm going to start my own business, you know, and You've been probably working on that while in hermit mode. Um, getting your documents and everything together. You know how you have to get like your tax ID. You have to get registered with your county that you live in, the state that you live in. Um, open a business checking account. Get a website running. Get a phone number. All the stuff that you need to do to get a business started. That's what this could possibly mean. Something that you have been doing maybe as a side hustle or as a hobby before, now you've turned it into a business. And inflow of abundance, that means money's coming in because of it. 
future energy is page of air, page of swords. When someone has page of air energy, they are someone that is logical, someone that is honest. They have like a curious kind of thing about them, but they can also be somewhat impulsive. Um, this could also be someone that, or an energy that provides some kind of information that is not necessarily wanted information, but maybe necessary. You know how like someone tells you something that you really don't want to hear, but you're glad that they told you because it explains some things to you that you had questions about, or it makes you come to some kind of decision. Uh, perhaps the information that they give you causes some kind of delays and plans or changes to some plans that you have. Um, and the information that comes to you, it's not sugar-coated. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be challenging. So whoever or however this information is going to get delivered to you is going to be without tact. It's going to be blunt. And it's probably going to be hard to swallow, maybe even hurtful. This is future energy. This is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Scorpio energy. Okay, the overall energy for the reading for Leo for November 2020 is Ten of Fire. It's Ten of Wands. Um, this is saying that you're working too hard, that you need to learn how to accept help from others, that you're trying to do it all yourself and you're stretching yourself thin. You're feeling out of balance because you're trying to do it all and it's starting to stress you out. All the stress is going to start affecting your health if you don't start learning how to reach out and ask others to help you or if you don't learn how to delegate authority or if you don't learn how to prioritize your responsibilities and just learn how to learn how to take a break learn how to tell people no not work so hard okay all right so we're going to clarify it doesn't I don't feel this is this is not a negative reading. It's maybe a maybe a wake up call of some kind. Mhm. Mm okay, let's clarify the hermit. Clarify the hermit, please. Okay, three cards fill out the hermit. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to tell you what they were. Um, the tower came out. Uh, two of pentacles in reverse. And three of pentacles. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Um, there's some kind of this is past energy. This is what was going on with what caused you into going into hermit mode, possibly. Something was there's some kind of disorganization. Someone's feeling stretched thin. Overcommitted. Um, there's some disharmony, some disorganization. Um, I'm thinking, okay, in the tower, the tower is when there's 
some kind of massive groundbreaking change that comes into your life um, or yeah that comes into your life it's like it's change on a large scale it's something that happens to you that could possibly have something so extraordinary it caused you to just stop whatever it was that you were doing just to just drop everything and just go into hermit mode but while you were in hermit mode you were growing you were le you learned from the situation from whatever it was that happened it caused you to step outside of your comfort zone so that you could grow from it it was like a catastrophe it was like disgrace something something that you would consider pretty bad um, it may have caused you to feel like you were overwhelmed with everything else that was going on in the situation um, that you were being stretched thin that you were biting off more that you could chew it may have been causing some kind of um, problems at work or um, with family um, some projects that you were working on possibly outside of work maybe with a business partner or with um, a group of people that you may have been trying to start a business with or work on a project with uh, or maybe this maybe there was something going on with this group of people um, things just weren't working out um, maybe there was some kind of friction going on in the group some kind of conflict that made you feel or made the others feel undervalued like they weren't being taken seriously and so it started causing problems in the group So I think someone in the group was feeling like they were giving so much to it and they were stretching themselves thin because they were giving so much to the group, the group project, and trying to maintain their home life and their um, regular nine to five job that they felt stretched thin. They felt like they weren't able to keep it up and it was messing with their schedules they were feeling overwhelmed and that may have caused the tower moment that may have caused this change this thing that happened um, the tower to fall thus you going into hermit mode it was one of those situations something in that in that vein That was past energy. That's what happened to cause you to go into this hermit mode. But now, I think you've learned your lesson. You've you've grown from that. And so now, in current energy, you are in Ace of Ace of Earth, Ace of Pentacles. That means something, a new business venture is getting ready to come about, or you've started a new business venture. You started your own business or you've gone into business with someone but it looks like it's going to pay off oops wrong question let's clarify um, Ace of Earth please clarify Ace of Earth okay since you want to come out thank you one more please one more please for Ace of Earth. No, please for Ace of Earth. Thank you.
to move those over so I don't grab them by accident. Okay. The moon in reverse and eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles, eight of pentacles. I swear this lighting. Can't wait to get a new camera. Okay, the moon in reverse. Uh, moon in reverse. Moon is um, the moon is a major arcana card. Um, it's saying any kind of confusion that you may have that you may have had in the past, any kind of fear or repressed emotions. Um, it's starting to wash away. It's starting to go away because you're starting to face your fears. You're starting to realize that this, these fears are false. They're fake. They're my imagination. They're not real. That this negative energy is causing negative energy, and you're realizing that this is not getting you anywhere by staying in this this mind frame. Um, And upon realizing this, it's starting to make you feel better about yourself, better about your situation, and more um, more confident in what's going to happen as far as like the decisions that you make about this business. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles is saying Eight of Pentacles is Eight of um, is Pentacles is um, Earth energy. It's um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. It's saying that. Uh, That you're either you're thinking about it or you're you're planning on it or you have gone back to school or some kind of training to master whatever it is that you're trying to go into business for. That you're trying to brush up your skills or you're trying to work on a new skill to get them mastered so that you'll be very good at what you do. So that this business that you open is gonna be it'll make it lucrative and successful. Because, you know, if you, you go into a business and you don't even know what you're doing, you're not going to make any money. You're not going to have any clientele. It's going to be a waste of time and money. So going back to school, going back to some kind of going to some kind of training or workshop or apprenticeship, it helps you develop your skills and become a master and become an expert and... People like that. People want to give their business to someone that knows what they're doing. So, yeah, it's going to be, I mean, it's going to be a little bit of hard work, but it's going to pay off. So, that, this is good. Whatever it is that you're doing, just keep doing it. Don't, yeah, keep the fear at bay. Remember, fear is just, it's an imaginary thing. It's not real. It's not real. It's what your mind makes. It's it's a it's something that your mind creates when you're unsure of yourself and lacking confidence. It makes you fear things. It's like um almost like not a coping mechanism, but when you come across something that's unknown. It's due to lack of confidence. You become afraid of it. So don't, yeah, make sure that you stay unafraid. That you stay brave. Um, don't fall for the illusion. Okay, future energy is the page of air, the page of source. Remember there's something about some kind of, something, some kind of information. You're going to find something out that you really don't want to hear but you need to hear it because it's it's the truth and it could it could delay plans that you have or have but you know the truth needs to come out. it's gonna come out sooner or later better now than later so okay let's clarify this page of air clarify a page of air this is truth what is this information? Clarify page of air, please. Okay, thank you. Um, to clarify, we got page of cups and three of swords. 
Okay, Page of Cups. Hmm. Okay. Page of Cups is it's like happy, dreamer, sensitive energy, intuitive messages. Um, this is telling you to listen to your heart and go with all things that are romantic. Someone's coming into your life that makes you feel giddy, happy, dancing all the time, you sing, you think about this person. This person makes you feel fun, like having fun. You have fun with this person. They make you feel um, like you can express your feelings with them. You're goofy with them. But this Three of Swords is saying that um, a lot of people you see this, this card as um, third party situation. Third party situation meaning there's another person involved. So this is saying this could be this page of air is telling you some some news is going to come to you. You're going to find some stuff out and it could be about this page of cups that there's a third party energy. It's a third party. There's somebody on the side or somebody that they're still thinking about that they're not with anymore, but it's still they're still in contact with. It could mean that this person is still married or still involved with an ex. It means grief or heartbreak, suffering, emotional pain. So this is saying it could be this is future energy. So it could be somebody that you haven't met yet. Somebody that you just met. But you haven't quite gotten to know them yet. Just be wary. And I've had to learn this. Me, I'm not the only person, but I mean, you has, me, I learned had to learn this the hard way in a certain situation. So, although this person made me feel... I mean, we've, I've, when I was with this person, felt like teenagers. I felt like I was back in high school. We were having fun, hanging out, going places, doing things together, spending time together, dancing in the kitchen while cooking dinner, that type of thing. It was fun. We had fun, but he was dealing with an ex. And eventually there was a breakup and it wasn't easy. So just be wary about who you spend time with if you really want to deal with that situation. Just ask a lot of questions in the beginning and don't settle. That's all I can say. Rather, you know, just don't don't focus on it. If if there's something going on with this person and you're not sure, um ask questions. But this is saying, this page of air is saying that them, the truth is going to get delivered. So, so just be careful. Ask a lot of questions. Okay, this Ten of Fire is the overall energy. Ten of Wands. The Ten of Fire. Remember, it's saying that you're working too hard, that you need to take a break. You need to accept help from others. Because you're feeling out of balance. You're feeling stretched thin. So let's see. Clarify this tin of fire, please. Spirit. Oh, okay. Thank you. One more, please. One more, please. One more, please. All right. Thank you. Okay, we've got... Ten of Cups, and we've got 
Ace of Wands. Boomstick. Okay. Ten of Cups. Um, that is... <sighs> Happy family life. Blessings. Abundance. Alignment. Bliss. That means your money's looking good. Your job's looking good. Your health is looking good. Your family life is great. This is an idyllic state um, of comfort and joy. You know, you're happy. Um, it's like all your needs are being fulfilled. You don't have to worry about what meal you're going to have or if you're going to be able to eat. You got food. You got a house, a place to stay in. You got a car to drive. You got a job where you're making money and you're going to go on vacation with your family um, or friends. If you don't have family or kids, um, you're able to do whatever you want to do without having to worry about suffering financial loss. Um, yeah, this is saying that, you know, this is... This is completion as far as like your pinnacles, um, finances. So take comfort in knowing that um, you're on the right path. Okay. Okay. Ace of Wands is desire, it's inspiration, creation, willpower. Um, this is fire energy. This is saying that you, whatever it is that it is that you've been wanting to do, that you've been having a desire to do, a passion to do, that you need to jump in and start doing it right now. Don't waste any more time. Um, it could mean opportunities are opening up for you. You should definitely Recon, um, you should definitely research and consider these opportunities and re and consider taking them because they may not come to you again or they may not come around for a very long time. So don't let them slip away. I know sometimes there's things that we want to do and when an opportunity comes for us to do them, we feel nervous and we're like, mm, I don't know. Don't, uh -uh, don't second, second guess it. If it's something that you've really been wanting to do and you've just been waiting for the opportunity and then the opportunity arises, take advantage of it. Okay? Don't question yourself. Don't stop to think about it too long. Just do it. Because you may not feel like you're ready, but you need, you need this action to grow. Okay? All right, so how this how this clarifies the Ten of Fire is, yeah, you need to stop working so hard. Um, you can still do your job without working so hard to the point to where you're getting sick. If there's something like say for instance if you're a single parent and you need help um, with someone picking up your kids after they get out of school um, and you know there's possibly some people out there that can help you then you should talk with them and you know make a deal um, if there's people offering you help and you are too proud to accept it sometimes you have to swallow your pride and accept the help and just you know remember that write it down somewhere so that when you get back on your feet you can return the favor okay if you can't pay them back right away you need to find a way of getting your life in balance because if you don't you're gonna be working yourself so hard you're gonna get this, this is gonna stress you out and it's going to start creating health concerns like high blood pressure, um, issues with your heart, um, 
anything stress related, it's going to start causing your body to react to the stress. And you might end up in the hospital. You might end up having to stay home for a long period of time. You don't know. And what good is that going to do you if you are trying to take care of your household, especially if you're a single parent and you have children that are d depending on you? Or if you have an, an elder parent that you're taking care of, how are you going to take care of them if you're sick? So you need to really look at your life and see what it is that you need to put in balance. What it is that you need to let go. Remember, remember what the waning moon said? What do you need to release? I knew this reading was going to start hitting on these, these moon ca moonology cards. You need to really look at your life and say, okay, what is it that I need to release? And looking back at this whole spread, basically it's saying you need to release fear and you need to release um, these repressed feelings. You need to release feeling overcommitted stretch thin you need to release this this energy that's keeping you out of balance because you want to get to the point to where your ten of cups ten of cups is bliss happy family life divine love blessings you want to get to that point okay so that is the reading that I have for you for November, my beautiful Leos. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me, um, send me a message. I'm going to leave my contact information in the description below the video. Uh, if you'd like to book a personal reading, um, please get in touch with me. I have my, um, my website and my email located um, below. It should be in the About tab too on my um, channel, my um, YouTube channel. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you subscribe to the channel, you'll get notifications as to when videos are posted. And you'll also get notifications um, for videos that were, are scheduled to be um, posted in the future. Um, I think that's all I have for you. So um, I will see you in a couple of weeks or so when I do the um, reading for December. So I want you to have a beautiful, wonderful um, holiday month. I know it's going to be kind of difficult for families to get together for, you know, Thanksgiving holidays. But, you know, if you do it, do it safely. Um, remember to mask up, wash your hands, social distance. I love you guys. Okay, take care. Peace, love, and light. See you next time.